Today, I'm very excited to welcome to the Biostock studio, Christopher Cook, CEO at Carbiotics. Carbiotics is a loon-based biotech company developing uh, microbiome modulators aimed at promoting gut health. Thank you so much for joining me today, Christopher. Um, I'll just start with uh, some questions for yeah, you. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here, as always. Uh, well, I'd like to start out with asking you, what distinguishes Carbiotics from your competitors? Well, I, I, if I can sort of put things into a, a, a more a, a concise context, if I was sort of to distill what we're doing, I think the best way to, to uh, communicate it would be to say that we're doing or bringing to market smart prebiotics. Mm -hmm. And you can ask the question, well, you know, what are smart prebiotics? Well, I define them in, in, in actually three ways. One is a, a better prebiotic. So you have first generation prebiotics and then you have the second generation. And what are prebiotics? They're you know, stimulating your host probiotic bacteria, producing these uh, key short chain fatty acids, which lead to uh, immune system strength and the upregulation of key biomarkers as well through these SCFA. Uh, SCFAs that are produced. Um, secondly, uh, that, the thing that makes them smart is, is the diagnostic component as well. And this is something we, we've really worked on as well. And what does that do and what distinguishes that from other prebiotics is the fact that you want to find a prebiotic that meets the needs of the individual as well. Mm -hmm. And once you've done that, you want to validate it. Does it work for the individual? And then thirdly, what you want to do is you want to improve the efficacy of that over time through diagnostic monitoring. Mm -hmm. So that's the second area. And then the third area that makes it smart from our perspective is getting it to market in as, as many forms as possible. Mm -hmm. So as ingredients, so any nutraceutical or food and beverage company can tap into these smart prebiotics. Um, as a medical food or as a, a, a therapeutic co-treatment, which could be used to address you know, pharmacokinetic issues and the side effects of different pharmaceuticals. So th those three areas, the fact that we're uh, offering something that is better, uh, it can be monitored and improved, and the fact we're getting it through as many channels as possible, that's what makes it smart. So if you were to choose as a nutraceutical company, do you want to use an existing prebiotic or do you want to use a smart prebiotic? Obviously offering that type of added advantage to your customers to improve their health over time and to monitor that uh, should be regarded as superior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, it's uh, a lot of the potential there for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, this brings me to my next question, which uh, is this, this year you've finalized the evaluation of a new production enzyme. Yeah. Uh, what implications will the new enzyme have on your development plans? Well, that process has taken quite a long time, mm -hmm. actually, and it was one of the, I would say the most difficult uh, parts of this journey up until now. Uh, what this means practically is that we can um, both accelerate the, the reg work and in terms of practical steps forward, uh, what we're doing is submitting a, a grass self-affirmation dossier. And what we need to do now in September is to run uh, five batches, which is required for that, uh, integrate that into the dossier and have that submitted in, in Q4. So that's the plan forward. Now that's being submitted to an expert panel consisting of three people. Again, we're not submitting this dossier to the FDA. This is a self-affirmation. We affirm that this product is safe in the market. So my confidence level is extremely high because we're starting with a side stream product from a, a, a corn mill. So the corn bran is our starting material and then through a, a chemical enzymatic process producing uh, uh, our product Carbioxis. Mm -hmm. This is also going to allow us to accelerate, given the fact that we're using this commercial enzyme, the ability to go through a more comprehensive and uh, uh, more advanced reg work when it comes to submission to the FDA and then obviously novel foods in Europe as well. But getting self-affirmation will allow us, and many of our competitive products only have self-affirmation as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this would allow us to start selling our product in the United States. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a big step. Yes. Um, well. Uh, Let's discuss production. Um, you're also building your first large-scale production facility. Uh, so where are you in that process? Well, large is a relative concept. <laughs> uh, the, the market for prebiotics today is, is a, a five billion euro market, uh, roughly 1.1 million tons of production. And the site that we're building now is a, is a 10 ton site. So that gives you uh, a, a sense of the scale uh, where we're at today and where we're going towards with a superior product at market as well. Uh, 
uh, we, the demo work was completed uh, prior to the summer. Now we're sort of building that site up and, and the goal is to have that site in place uh, by the uh, end of the year and then a startup phase in, in Q1 of next year with phase one of that site. So that's the plan right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then in terms of the production of the material, we'll, we'll likely be using uh, sort of pilot sites offsite mm -hmm. uh, to produce these batches for the reg work yeah. in the uh, intermittent period. All right, sounds yeah. good. Uh, so recently, Carbotics has appointed a new head of sales mm -hmm. uh, and as well as recruited uh, two new board members. Um, so what will they bring to the company? Yeah, if we start with uh, Eric Dean, our head of uh, sales, yeah. uh, uh, he's fit in extremely well into the organization. Uh, I envisage him obviously growing in the organization as well and, and taking on uh, more operational roles mm -hmm. uh, in the organization as well. And uh, I think the, the company will already see the fruits of that investment in, 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 in Eric in terms of the you know, building up of the sales pipeline as well mm -hmm. on the diagnostic side. Uh, in terms of uh, Jonas uh, Donison, uh, our chair, a lot of experience from the food industry, mm -hmm. which is great. You know, we are a food tech company. Yeah. Uh, and obviously a lot of networks can help solve a lot of practical issues and uh, uh, above that, very, very pleasant person to work with as well. <laughs> uh, and then Kissa Monson, a lot of experience from uh, process engineering and process industries, which is exactly where we are right now. Yeah. So our process engineers are getting extremely valuable uh, experience from him uh, as we scale up our process from 10 ton and then I said upwards of 100 ton using the same footprint as we have today mm -hmm. uh, at the same facility uh, next year. And then we'll see how we take that forward, uh, both on-site as well as off-site. Mm -hmm. um, well, this is the last question. I know you could probably go on a long time, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking ahead, um, what would you say the next six months will look like for carbiotics? What will be your main goals for the next six months? Uh, obviously on the diagnostic side, and this was you know, the second point of what makes a smart prebiotic. So getting that diagnostic ecosystem uh, up and running. Uh, we have our uh, early ad adoptive part, uh, partners, uh, getting them uh, not only on board, but launching. Uh, so the launch of the three partners, building up that pipeline uh, is something that we have as an ambition. And again, you know, why are people going to use our diagnostic ecosystem? It's the most cost-effective, flexible, and reliable gut health test on the market. You know, why would you invest in building up your own infrastructure when you can just tap into that. Mm -hmm. um, so it makes complete sense to obviously work with us in that regard. Um, so building up the diagnostic pipeline, obviously regarding the, the process, getting those uh, fundamentals elements in place so we can you know, start production. Uh, and in connection with that, get our first contract in place, uh, sales contract uh, for sales into the US market is critical as well. Um, with access to material, obviously we can make ground and uh, progress with the different studies we're involved in as well. Uh, our own development internally mm -hmm. as well, which will eventually lead to uh, critical IP, both uh, in terms of new prebiotics, but also in the therapeutic space. And uh, uh, yeah, so a lot is happening. Uh, and the trigger is, is obviously getting access to this particular uh, prebiotic, which is carbi access, mm -hmm. ironically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, it sounds all very exciting, and I uh, just want to thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to following carbiotics. Thank you. It was a pleasure to come in. Thanks.